everyone and welcome to Bridey Varnish. My name is Sheila and today I'm going to be sharing with you my fall faves for 2019. And I am doing this in collaboration with a massive group of awesome nail YouTubers. And I'm going to link all their um, channels down below in my description box. So please make sure to check that out. So before I start, I would like to give a huge thank you to Josephine from Polish Talk for inviting me to participate in this um, collaboration and also to Walker from Olive Ave Nails for sending me all the information that I need to be able to sort of catch up and um, participate in this massive collab. When I used to be, you know, a spectator to this um, event, I would just click the hashtag up on the channels and then I would literally just do a marathon of all these amazing videos from all these nail polish YouTubers um, while doing my laundry or doing chores in the house and so I am so so excited to be part of this collaboration. I'm new here. My channel just started in May of 2019 and so I'm super excited to be here, super excited to be participating. So the hashtag for this season's collaboration is hashtag our faves for fall 2019. So that will be up on my title. If you click that, if you're on your computer, you will probably see a bunch of the videos that these ladies are making and the rest of the ladies are making. So then you can just start watching and it'll be a wonderful, wonderful time. So if you're new to my channel, if you're from any of these other um, wonderful girls that are here on YouTube talking about nail polish, welcome and I hope you find something that you like here and I hope you consider subscribing and also hitting the bell button for notifications. My schedule is a little bit erratic. I try to upload every Thursday and every other Sunday, but that doesn't usually happen because life gets in the way. The rest of the video is actually going to be just nail polish swatches and that will be what you will be seeing. But I'm so happy to meet you guys and I hope you like my picks for fall of 2019. So yeah, I'm so excited to share with you my favorites and we're going to go ahead and get started. So I thought about how I was going to do this video because um, really it's all subject to interpretation. But basically, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out my favorite sort of shades and colors to wear. Um, for each season and I will pick my favorite polish for that color because basically for example I will never be caught dead wearing a neon in the fall you know what I mean so there are certain shades of colors that I do love to wear seasonally and I think I'm gonna do that and some of these favorites are old ride or die favorites and some of them are newly discovered and I would love to share them with you so I'm going to start with a favorite shade to wear and that's like a dusty rose, dusty mulberry and I'm not going to lie everyone if I don't say I don't love Angora Cardi from Essie then I totally would be lying to you. Um, this is a ride or die shade for me for the fall. I have actually um, introduced it in one of my old videos, but look at that. That is a beautiful sort of dusty muted mulberry shade. And for me, this is like a grandma, cause you know, it's a grandma shade. This to me is a grandma whom you haven't seen in a long time and will just give you the nicest tightest hug. That's how I feel about Angora Cardi. And this is why, you know, this month it's again Essie's um, color of the month. I had not planned to wear it, but I think I'm definitely going to wear it because look at that. That is so beautiful. And any, any excuse for me to wear Angora Cardi, I will definitely take it. And so that is Angora Cardi from Essie. The next shade that I love to wear 
during the fall autumn season is a mustard yellow. I mean, because come on, I am yellow obsessed, as you probably already all know. And this year I found a new favorite, and this is a Honey Bee from Luminous Lacquer. Um, you can still get this um, at the Luminous Lacquer storefront in Etsy. I also did another video for this featuring this. I thought this was going to be a dupe for Caramello, but it's not. But look at that beauty. Um, I've I've kind of like enabled a lot of people to buy this um, this polish, and you know they've all been loving it. And I think I'm gonna go back and get like a full size bottle because mine is a mini. And look at that beautiful mustard yellow shade. This is a very vintage feel to me and I absolutely love it. And this is Luminous Lacquer's Honey Bee. The third shade I love to wear during the fall season is a good olive green. And again, this year I found a new favorite and this is H&M's Olive Branch. What I love about this shade is that it is a very unique olive green in a sense that it's a metallic and it's yellow based. So holy macaroni, I, I just, I have this on my nails right now and it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, a lot of the olive green metallics I have or that I have seen are more of the camo color, like a camouflage or like a military green. And this is like a true olive green with a lot of yellow undertones. And so I love it for that. I have a bunch of olive greens, but I think this year this is my absolute favorite. And this is H&M's Olive Branch. The fourth color or shade that I love to wear during the fall is like a pumpkin, sort of a muted pumpkin terracotta, brick red, that type of family. And my absolute favorite um, in that category is OPI's Yank My Doodle. This is an absolutely gorgeous sort of, I don't even know how to describe it. It's pumpkin and it's terracotta at the same time. It is just absolutely gorgeous. Oops, what was that? I don't even know what that was. That was probably like just like a pigment. But look at that beauty. It's just absolutely beautiful. Every time I wear this polish, I always get compliments. And it's just an absolutely unique sort of take to terracotta, to orange, to pumpkin. It's muted, but it's bright. It's just so unique to me. And that is OPI's Yank My Doodle. The next shade I love to wear in the fall is sort of like a caramel brown, peanut buttery, yellowy shade, like not quite mustard yellow, but almost there, but not quite. And this year I have found a new favorite and it is Essie's On The Bright Cider. <laughs> there you go, it's Essie's On The Bright Cider. It's this absolutely beautiful sort of caramel color with a beautiful formula and I've absolutely fallen in love with it. Actually, I think this is my favorite um, among all the polishes in that fall collection. Look at the gorgeousness. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's a perfect caramel shade unlike any other. Um, I did a video on this for the Essie Fall Collection. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it, but yeah, I it's I have nothing like it. It's beautiful and it's just perfect. And I'm so happy that Essie made this and added this to their fall lineup. And this is Essie's On The Bright Cider. Now, I would be again lying to you if I didn't say that I did not love to pull out all my ugly pretty colors um, for the fall. I think fall is the best absolute time to wear your pretty ugly colors. And my favorite ugly pretty of all time is China Glaze's Trendsetter. Holy macaroni, this is probably the polish that got me hooked on ugly pretty colors and this is probably going to be the la the first um, year where I won't be wearing it or that I don't plan to wear it just because I have a couple of other things that I really really need to wear 
But look at that bile gorgeousness. I mean, it's just so pretty and it's so beautiful. I mean, I don't know. I think I love the look of my skin tone against these polishes and so that's why I love them even though like they actually look atrocious on the bottle. Um, but yeah, that is China Glaze's Trendsetter. Another shade that I like to wear in the fall are my sort of golden copper rust metallics and this year I found a new favorite in Leeton Danny's Wanderlust holy macaroni if you follow me on instagram you know i have been gushing over this polish like incessantly just because i have never heard of this brand before and it's just absolutely gorgeous on my skin tone i don't usually wear gold because golds scare me but this is an absolute beautiful gold against my skin tone. So if you're like an olive, yellow, medium, you know, skin tone, this this kind um, is actually a perfect gold for you. I've seen pictures of the new China Glaze, the, the gold, I think it's gold mine your business. I'm not sure how similar it is, but it kind of does look similar. similar. If you have that, maybe you can pull that out and see if that's something that suits you. But holy macaroni, I know it's appearing a little bit sheer on here, but this was opaque for me in two coats. My goodness, this gold is absolutely beautiful on me. And this is, I think, a new favorite and going to be a favorite for a really long time. It also has some holographic in it. And so it's just, for me, just so beautiful. And this is Leeton Danny's Wanderlust. Another shade that I also love to wear during the fall is my deep dark purples and this is Essie's Sexy Divide and I wore this for Halloween last year and my goodness this is just so sexy in the fall for me and so vampy. I just feel like a Hollywood starlet, like a vintage Hollywood starlet wearing this. This is, look at how rich that is. It is so beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. And if you guys have any purples like this, um, this would be wonderful to pull out in the fall, wonderful to pull out, um, you know, during the Halloween times. It also, this one also has a little bit of a subtle shimmer to it. And so, yeah, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I love this polish. Um, I have a couple of other um, untrieds that are in this shade just because I love to have these types of um, polishes in my collection. And I love wearing them in the fall. And this is Essie's Sexy Divide. Almost done, guys. And so another shade I love to wear in the fall are my dark taupe colors. And this is KL Polishes Point zero. This is an absolute favorite for me. Um, also a little bit sentimental because this was the polish I wore for my naturalization ceremony when I became a U.S. citizen. But this is an absolutely beautiful sort of dark taupe chocolate color. Um, I think I wore an Essie um, that was like the same-ish sort of mood and I loved that also but this is like an all-time favorite for me. It's super opaque, so easy to wear. It's just a perfect fall color for me and so that is Kale Polishes Point Zero. And last but not the least, I love my khaki sandy beiges in the fall and this year I have a new favorite and this is China Glaze's Prairie Tail Ending, and this is from their new fall collection. I was almost not gonna pick up this polish, but I saw Manny Centric swatch this, and I was like, holy moly, this is gonna be beautiful. So I picked it up, and it is positively gorgeous. Not only that, it stamps like a dream, but look at that. So if you're if you're a fan of like white polishes, but like get but you get turned off by the whole white out situation with the white polishes. Sandy khaki beiges are beautiful, like because they give you that sort of clean, dainty look. But at the same time, it doesn't give you like that starkness of a white. 
and I love wearing these types of shades in the fall, especially as palette cleansers when you've had way too many golden stuff going on. This is the perfect sort of neutralizer. And yes, that is China Glaze's Prairie Tail Ending. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for being here to chat with me about anything and everything nail polish. I have all the information for the other ladies down below in my description box. Like I said, I always just used to click on the hashtag and just, you know, do my laundry and watch all these beautiful videos every season. And I'm so happy to be here to be participating this year for this massive collaboration. These are some of the best nail YouTubers you can ever find. And so if you haven't discovered them already, please make sure to watch their channels. It's just an absolutely fun and amazing um, collaboration. And the nail polish community is just an amazing you know, thing to be part of. And so comment down below if any of these shades interest you. Do you usually wear these types of colors in the fall also? Or, you know, if you have, I'll be watching all the favorites, so I'm sure I'm gonna be hunting down a lot of new polishes. But yeah, these are some of my favorites, you know, my writer dies and some new favorites this year, and I hope you like them. And I hope everybody is having a great weekend and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.